you have your little one. He or she's all home and all snugly in bed. It's a very happy time for the family. It's also a time to go ahead and be serious for a little bit. Now that you've got the, the relatives coming over, well-meaning friends, people from church to see the baby, you need to think about um, some, some important things. First, you're gonna have a daycare, that, uh, possibly, that you're going to have the child signed up for. You need to make sure that you check out the place, that it's up to your standards, that you know the hours of operation. We hear things in the news about babies being locked in after hours and, and um, things like that. I know from my own experience of employees who have to leave at a certain time in order to get home and get over there and pick up the children on their way um, before it closes and things like that. You wanna check into the place and make sure it's um, a good place and that you've given all the necessary authority to them to act on your behalf in the event of emergency. Likewise for grandma, if she's going to babysit while you take a trip to celebrate your honeymoon, and even possibly for a babysitter at your home when you're just out for the evening. You are the parent and you are in charge of the child. You um, are the one who has to authorize medical treatment for the child and the way that you convey the authority for someone else to order that treatment and to converse with the medical providers is through documentation. You would have an author, a medical authorization that your attorney can prepare. Um, sometimes hospitals may have those available and it basically just says that it identifies the child, it identifies the parents, it has a date on it, it has a time period in which it applies, and it says what this caregiver can do with your child or for your child. You may have a caveat that it's, if it's effective if they cannot reach you, um, something like that. Now obviously if you're going to be uh, overseas on a trip and the child is home you need to make sure that this is executed and provided to the caregiver and maybe an extra copy to someone else in, in the event that it's necessary for them to use it. And uh, then when you come back you need to revoke that also in writing but if you put the dates or the time frame up front then you should be alright. The next thing, some people, I don't know, they have a hard time talking about this or thinking about it, but your will. You may or may not already have a will. Depending upon what property you own, you may or may not need one for yourself. But now you have a child, not so much concerned about what passes to the child in the event of your death, but we are concerned with who's going to raise the child in the event of your death. Now, if both parents are alive, and then one dies, the other parent automatically is the guardian over the child. If you're divorced, uh, those rights can change with regard to money coming from you for the child. But again, uh, unless a court order has terminated rights, the other parent will most likely be automatically the guardian of the child, and so nothing official need to be done. But in the event that both parents or the remaining parent die and the child is not yet of legal age, then you need to provide in your will for the guardian and conservator of the child. The guardian is the person who will take the physical responsibility, responsibility for the physical child, caring for them, living with them, um, taking them to school, uh, monitoring their activities, etc. The conservator is the person in charge of the money. Sometimes they're the same person, sometimes they're not. It just depends on your assets, it depends on the people involved and what you want to set up. But not important on how it's done, it's just important that you remember to do this because if you don't, then a court is going to decide. And it's, it, can you imagine it's so painful already to lose family members, but to lose family members and then have multiple sides of the family having to compete or work out what to do with the child would be just add more levels of heartbreak. So do everyone a favor and give yourself some peace of mind and think about it and you make the decision.